Leprosy, my dear brothers and sisters, leprosy at the time of Jesus on this earth was far worse than just an ailment. It was also a sign of exclusion and to have leprosy entailed to be marginalized, to be deprived of your most basic rights in the sense of being excluded from the community, from the people of God, and in practical terms to be condemned. It was seen as a sign that God had, has excluded a person from the community of faith, from the community of love. So it was like being damned, even if you were still alive. So it has particular interest for us every time that we see Jesus facing leprosy, fighting leprosy, overcoming leprosy. And that's exactly what we have in today's passage from the Gospel according to Luke. We know that Jesus was a great teacher, so marvelous words of wisdom came out from his mouth. But that, that's not enough when you are excluded, when you are deprived of your most basic rights. You need far more, far more than that. This leper comes nearer Jesus. So there is something in his preaching, in Jesus' preaching, that is attracting even people that could be in absolute despair, which, which is a wonderful lesson for us. Because sometimes, because of depression, because of our own sins, because of the desperate situation in the region, in the part of the world we are living in, sometimes we feel absolutely excluded, we feel marginalized, we feel deprived. But Jesus' word has the power to attract us, as he attracted this desperate man, in such a way that he was able to plead with him. And the leper said, if you will, you can clean me. But Jesus did far more than he had been asked for. Jesus stretched out his hand to touch the leper, to touch the leper. He was not asked to touch leprosy or to touch the leper, but he did that. And it is interesting because that means a true turning point in the revelation of God's love and, and God's power. There was a reason in Moses' law, there was a reason for restraining people to enter into contact with lepers. It was thought at that time, we know that was wrong, but that was the thinking at that time. It was thought that touching lepers would mean that leprosy could come out, could pass from the sick one to the healthy one. But when Jesus is touching the leper, He's showing, he's manifesting, and this is an epiphany, he's manifesting that the power in his hands and the love in his heart are more powerful so as to overcome, as to overcome whatever evil could be in the leper. That's what I say that this is a turning point because it is not evil overcoming health or goodness or good, it is God's goodness, God's bounteousness, God's power of love overcoming whatever evil might be in that person. And that brings lots and lots of hope for our world in need. I wish you get the message. I wish you identify yourself with that person in such a need.